she was about to be a year old and she was starting to walk along the furniture but then um, all of a sudden she started um, going backwards like she went from just sitting down to um, just laying down all day you know her hands and feet were flat um, her arms were like twisting in and um, her head was forming you know differently and so I would take her to the doctor we would go like three or four times out of the week to the doctor and they would tell us you know she had either the flu she had a, just a virus and I decided to change doctors and she sent us to a specialist and we found out she had a tumor the size of a, a softball. When we found out, it was kind of like a relief that we found out, but we just didn't know what it was. They admitted us to the hospital that same day. The next day, they operated on her. Um, they took out everything the whole tumor and so all we did was radiation this past august um we found out it, it came back there's three little tumors growing on the top of her her head we can't operate that's not an option right now so we've already done radiation and we're doing chemo now here stand up stand up no you stand up by yourself Stand up. Um, when Stand up. we do chemo, like each month, um, like she goes back down, like she doesn't want to walk, and so like each month we're like having to, you know, help her, you know, like One. with energy and stuff. But it does help Two. a lot. Come on. Do it. There you go. Yay. Okay, now walk. Go. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, you should do it. Yes, it I'm okay. She loves it because, you know, we decorate her room and um, it doesn't feel like a hospital room. It feels like a, a, a room, like her room. Let's do that one. All right, Mulan. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I didn't even know she was up there. Well, I know we, I knew we had an appointment. I just didn't know when. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Let's go down. Okay. Her physical therapist thinks that um, she may be walking, maybe by the end of this year, but if not, you know, we'll just keep using her walker and um, we'll try something else. You poop. Yeah. You poop. You poop. You poop. No. Yeah, you poop. That's gross. You want hot Cheetos? It's helped us with, you know, with the girls coming to visit. Um, Lisa was um, really shy, really didn't want to meet new people. The girls come and, you know, they come a couple of times out of the week and they play with Lisa and she's opened up to, you know, new people. She's not afraid anymore. And it's just, it's helping for me as well because, you know, the girls come to my house and I get to do, you know, a little bit around the house, what I have to do. and. You know, they're watching Lisa. So it's helped us out a lot. She's like looking at me like, where are you going? <laughs> Which one's next? Over there. There you go. Okay. And then, and then you're going to do two ears. Yeah, she's been doing <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Ready. 
Give it to all. Medicine that we want. They've done different medicines. I know their main, the main one has been Christine. It's like a lot of um, pain in her joints and stuff. So we've had to like decrease that medicine. And then she takes a uh, flagell and that's because she had an infection. But those are the antibiotics that she's taking now. Like the doctor told me there's new medicines every day. So, you know, she's trying so hard to figure out a way to, to fix it. So we're just waiting for that day. There's lots of things that we can and cannot do just because, you know, we're afraid, you know, Lisa might get sick from any, any viruses or, you know, we can't just up and go to a store because, you know, Lisa, Lisa's immune system could be down and we don't want her to get sick. And, you know, so my youngest, he, he feels it more because he feels like we're um, not paying so much attention to him. And we try so hard to, you know, have time with each child, but it's hard because we're in and out of the hospital and he doesn't understand. When it's just Carlos and Lisa, Lisa bosses him around. <laughs> uh, she gets her way. They fight, but then they get along. And it's like, that's what we wanted to see. You know, because we thought that Lisa wasn't going to, you know, bounce back. And, you know, now she's bossing him around. And, you know, so. But it's good. They're good. After her first surgery, she was at a, her mind was at a six-month-old baby. So we had to start all over. We do physical therapy, we do occupational, and we stop doing speech because she repeats everything that everybody says. But it was really hard for her. Come. 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 We were going to put her in school in August, this past August, but, you know, the cancer came back, so we um, decided not to. But um, for sure, I, I would like her to go to school. I would like her walking, talking, and like a normal child. I would like her to, you know, go to school and have friends and not be sick.